So let me show you one of my favorite hacks with Google AdWords Keyword Planner. You'll need to set up a Google AdWords account. So go to adwords.google.com, sign in with your Gmail. You'll need to create an ad, add a credit card or payment method, and then just pause that ad if you don't actually want it to run. You need a full Google AdWords account before you can use their Keyword Planner tool. So whether if you're using the old version of AdWords or the new AdWords beta, just go to Tools, Keyword Planner. Or if you're like me using the new beta version, click these three dots in the top right, Tools, Billing, Settings, and in this dropdown under Planning, Keyword Planner. So with Google AdWords Keyword Planner, you can find new keywords to include in your titles, to include in meta descriptions, to include in the content of pages, blog posts, social media, and so on. So once you're on this Keyword Planner page, I just use this first option, search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. So click that, and here you can see, input your seed keyword here, or input a landing page. So this is for scraping keywords from your competitor's website. So let's just put in Course Envy here. So Keyword Planner is going to pull all the suggested keywords from this website or landing page. So scroll down. Unless you want to target another country, I leave this as United States and English. Click Get Ideas. And as you can see, Keyword Planner has given us ideas or keyword ideas for this website. So under Keyword Ideas, Google Analytics Certification Exam, Average Monthly Searches of 10, there's low competition in Google AdWords, so this means I could probably easily rank on the first page of Google Ads for a low bid. It doesn't even give a suggested bid, so this tells me there's not really many people competing for this. Next, free math problems. 260 people a month searching that in the United States, but there's medium competition with a suggested bid of 33 cents. So I'm going to have to bid a little bit more to beat the other people competing to rank for this keyword in Google AdWords ad campaigns. So this is great if you have a website you want to steal keywords from. But if you have that seed keyword, let's just input that into the search bar. So click back, let's delete that landing page, and let's input our product or service or seed keyword we know. So CourseEnvy.com is all about online courses. So that'll be our seed keyword. So scroll down, again United States, English is fine, get ideas. So here we go. Keyword ideas again, online courses, has 14,800 searches a month. But, like you can assume, competition is very high. There's a ton of people on Google AdWords competing to rank for this keyword at that top spot in Google searches. So I'll just show you. So in Google, I searched online courses, and as you can see, the complete above the fold are all ads. Ad, 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 ad. So these people are paying an awful lot. On average for the top bid, $27.19. So they could be paying up to $27 for me to click this link, for this link to appear at the top of the search results for this keyword. So let's scroll down, and below you'll see more relevant keywords based on your initial seed keyword. So online college courses, online learning. We can sort this by monthly searches, 301,000 is Coursera, so that's an actual brand. There's a low competition for that. So an idea I would have for this keyword is to possibly try to rank for this in maybe a versus article, Coursera versus CourseEnvy.com. But sometimes with brands, I don't like to even try to compete there because there's the chance of trademark infringement, so I won't mess with that. So let's keep scrolling through here. MOOC, Massive Online Open Course. That could be something cool to rank for. It has low competition in AdWords and fairly low suggested bid. Let's keep looking. 
Actually, let's do this by low. So low competition, so not many people in AdWords are competing. Okay, there we are by low, but as you can see, with low competition comes low monthly searches. So let's see the highest one for low competition. Here we go, course sites, 22,000. That's not a bad one to rank for. So, to get a more precise actual monthly search volume, let's click this button here, add to plan. So course sites, add to plan. Now you can click review plan here or review plan here. So let's click that. And now, as you can see, I've already input what I do to get the actual search volume for this. This is my Google AdWords Keyword Planner hack. So I enter the max bid of 999 with a max daily budget of 99 million. So now we scroll down and as you can see there's my keyword. I can edit it if I like and check the impressions for other keywords. But let's click cancel. Now make sure to change this to a month. So we have monthly forecast here. Here's our keyword, max bid. So the actual search volume for this keyword per month is 1,795. This is ranking in the first position because I've maxed out my cost per click and my budget. So this is my hack way of telling what the actual search volume is for this keyword. Nearly 1,800 impressions per month. So we can edit this. Now remember Coursera, that had a lot of search volume, over 300,000. Let's look at the actual search volume. Then we click Save. Here we go. So in the United States only, in a month time frame, this keyword is getting 9,100 impressions. So set up your free Google AdWords account to find some of these new seed keywords and see the actual search volume with this hack under review plan. Then take those keywords over to Longtail Pro and get the exact keyword competitiveness for that keyword and see if you can actually rank for it. Remember, Google AdWords is just good for finding search volume. It doesn't actually tell you if you can rank for that keyword, how competitive is it? Yes, it's competitive in Google AdWords, low, medium, high, but how competitive is it in the actual page rank of Google search results? Not just in AdWords, in the ads. What about organic results? I care about organic results. So let's go over to courseenvy.com slash longtail pro. Click here for the free trial of Longtail Pro. Okay, so now we're in our Longtail Pro. Again, we're gonna use the United States, English, and what was our seed keyword? course sites. But let's test Coursera while we're at it. 20 results per seed keyword, that's fine. I want to include low, medium, and high. Google AdWords competition level, that's good. So let's retrieve these suggestions. Okay, now we're getting some keywords to pop up. Let's sort this by volume. There we go, Coursera. So again, there's that matching search volume we found in Google AdWords. But the metric I care about, not so much that I can compete easily within Google AdWords, the competition, but what I care about is the keyword competitiveness right here, the average KC. Anything above 45, really anything above 40, I don't even try to rank for organically within Google search. 68, this tells me Coursera has that entire first page locked up. Let's just take a look. Click the actual keyword for the competitive analysis. So as you can see, Coursera.org, Coursera's Twitter, Coursera's Google, Android app, Coursera's iTunes app, and then some high authority blogs. We have the Harvard Business Review, fastcompany.com, Wikipedia. These are very high domain authority URLs that we're not gonna unseat. So I don't even want to attempt to try to compete with organic ranking. 
on this first page of Google search results for that keyword. So let's just click back. So that second keyword I cared about, course sites, 22,000 searches a month, keyword competitiveness of 44. Now this is something I could actually rank for. It would take some work, it would take some backlinks, it would take probably 2,000 plus words of content, really well constructed, with 1% of the keyword density being course sites and other relevant course related keywords. So to find those other relevant course related keywords to put in this money page, so I'd be courseenvy.com slash course dash sites. So that would be the actual URL. I want to use other keywords that are relevant and lower keyword competitiveness. So let's sort by this KC. So low to high. Remember anything in the twenties, pretty easy to rank for anything above 40. It gets much and much harder to organically rank for that keyword. So online course sites like Udemy, awesome. 25. Yes, it's low search volume, but those are 10 specific users seeking a site that's like Udemy. Plus there's other keywords in it. Udemy, online course sites, course sites. This is a five for one keyword. Or if you want to get a little bit more search volume, let's keep looking here for a lower KC with a little more search volume. Here's another good one, Coursera Alternative. A little more search volume, and it includes that big keyword, Coursera, with 300,000 search volume. So use a blend of Google AdWords Keyword Planner and Longtail Pro to really find those long tail keywords worth ranking for in all the search engines. 